You ready to fight? You ready? Good. That kick blocked by Doryush. Straight right hand now just misses. Doryush gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back mount now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Daryush gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Daryush gets caught by the elbow there. All right, side control now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, single collar tie here. Daryush's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nicely done as he gets the takedown. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, rubber guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this in the octagon. No, I, I can't get those <laughs> legs up there. Come on, man, look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground, and I like to grind. That's what I'm known for. But this guy has that dexterity. He has that ability to throw up the rubber guard to be able to threaten from a position where his opponent was trying to find safety. There are many, many attacks here. Let's see which one he chooses to go after. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, nice elbow. Scramble, scramble, scramble. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, is he an active pursuer of the submission? Oh! He might get a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. to watch. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to 
do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. I want you to go out there and finish this fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and pound sequence. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Head kick lands. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. A little single collar tie there. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. He's having his way with him here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And they separate. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent up to low. And now he's got to hurt very bad. Oh, these are some devastating. Oh, big knee. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Gets hit by that leg kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, he felt like he had to kick effectively to win this fight, and he is certainly doing that right now. Nice combination of kicks. His kickboxing coach is feeling ecstatic right now, watching the guy. Hi. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? to go in our third and final round. Another knockdown! Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Oh, nice right hand. And they separate. Back to the jab now. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. And he comes knee. through with a big knee. He hurt him. Checked a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Good punch lands. Got the single collar tie. Finds a home for that left hook. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Rubber guard for him now, DC. Some people believe this is nothing more than a stall tactic. What do you think the offensive fighter is trying to do? He needs to regain his posture, right? He needs to shove that foot down from around his neck, shove it down, build your base, get that arm free, and then get back to work trying to advance position to your ground. If you play in there, you're in a lot of danger if you're not careful. 